The biocentric universe is a theory that life produces the physical world, not the other way around. This strikes many people as a radical, even nonsensical departure from the standard theories. But actually, it's compatible with virtually everything we presently know in science. The main difference involves our perspective only. The new theory asks that whenever we measure or describe something, we always do so relative to a specific frame of reference. In some ways, we already do this. When we speak of the speed of a bullet, we're describing that speed relative to something, the ground or perhaps the target. Because we could just as easily describe the bullet as being at rest and the target moving. Steady motion cannot be described in absolute terms. It always must be described relative to some frame of reference. This is a core principle of Albert Einstein's relativity, and it's an unchallenged fact in physics. Starting in the 1980s, some physicists realized that perhaps reference frames should be applied to all descriptions. In this approach to physics, when describing any property of an object, not just speed, we do so only in terms of the observed value, which is specific to the reference frame we use, as in relativity. And just as relativity resolved several paradoxes involving motion, this approach seems to resolve many newer paradoxes. Its proponents argue that if science is to be truly rigorous, it should deal only with observable or measurable numbers, as there is no direct evidence to assume that such numbers reflect absolute properties inherent in the things we study. In the biocentric universe theory, reference frames are applied even to descriptions across time. When we describe the conditions of the early universe, for example, we do so from our 21st century perspective. What we would observe were we to travel to that time with our modern instruments and knowledge and look. But what about describing the early universe from the perspective of that time, before there were any observers? The theory says that this cannot be done. Since the universe can be defined only in terms of observations, a defined universe can only be said to have existed for as long as it has been observed by living organisms, the very first of which began to resolve crude features of the world that we see with so much detail today. In describing the origin of life, the conventional view requires a convergence of highly specific molecules and conditions, not the least of which is a universe allowing the existence of matter in the first place. The biocentric view says that these details are products of our modern perspective and don't reflect what actually went on in the world of that first life form. In this theory, observation by any biological organism is what turns uncertainty into reality. If experiments show that animals and humans really are constantly resolving little pieces of the physical world, it could mean that the universe has been evolving in a direct parallel with life for its entire existence.